Hi, I'm Tom Wishon, and I wanted to take a moment of your time to explain a little bit about our all bendable line of driver heads, fairway woods, and hybrid heads for custom fitting. As you know, Wishon Golf Technology is totally all about custom club fitting. Being able to offer golfers through custom club makers fully custom fit, custom built golf clubs fit for all 12 of the key specifications to allow every golfer to play the best of their ability. Well, when it comes to fitting drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids, it's always been important to think about the key specifications of loft, lie, and face angle. They're very important to be able to nail down and fit to each golfer for what they need for their swing characteristics. Problem has been, it's been difficult to be able to offer a wide range of custom fitting options in all three of those custom fitting specs of loft lie and face angle. So a number of years ago, we went to work on the project of, well, how do we make and design our drivers and fairway woods and hybrids so that we can create a hosel that's bendable and so we then can offer a very wide range of custom face angle or custom lie angle to go with a hand select program where we can choose a range of different lofts within the different models that we tool up and manufacture. We came up with ways to do this through our knowledge of metallurgy to be able to choose metal alloys to make the hosel of the drivers, the fairway woods, and the hybrids, so they are bendable. Other companies' heads, drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids really are not bendable or very bendable because drivers are typically made from 6-4 alloy titanium, which is virtually impossible to bend cold, and fairway woods and hybrids are typically made with the body and the hosel uh, from 17-4 stainless, which is extremely difficult to bend. Well, we've chosen softer, more ductile alloys that are strong enough to never bend and move in play, but yet soft enough, ductile enough, so that we can bend them to change custom fitting specifications. So right now, within our model line of 919 THI drivers, we've tooled up and we offer that model in design lofts of 9, 11, 13 and 15 and a half, and a 10 and a half degree offset driver model as well. With these different loft versions, we can go and we can choose and measure and hand select for the loft angle within a range of plus one half, minus one degree from the design spec of each head. What that means is with this range of 919 drivers, we can offer a loft, a true static loft, anywhere from eight degrees up to 16 and a half degrees. No other company can do that and do it as accurately as we can. But not only that, within, once the loft is selected for the, you know, for the head, with the bendable hosel, we then can bend the face angle anywhere from four degrees open to four degrees closed in any increment in between, and the lie angle from four degrees upright to four degrees flat. And what's more important, we can deliver each of these three specifications of custom loft, lie, and face angle independently secured from each other. Why is that important when I say loft, lie, and face angle independent of each other? Because all of the golf industry's adjustable hosel drivers that are on the market today, which claim to be able to offer changes in loft, some mention a little bit about lie or face angle, none of them can offer custom loft, lie, and face angle, all in specs that are independent of each other. That can only be done with a hand select program for loft and then a bendable hosel that allows you then to bend the face angle and the lie. Confusing? Yes, it is, because there's a lot of confusion about it in the industry with the advent of the modern adjustable hosel. As I've explained in other technical videos, the adjustable hosel drivers only change loft when the golfer constantly and only holds and holds and positions the face in a zero square position behind the ball. If you do that, the change of the hosel devices will change the loft. But the face angle has to be frozen, never to be different from a zero degree square to get that loft change. In this country today, as I've mentioned before, it's estimated that at least 70% of the golfers slice the ball to one degree or the other. 
And face angle fitting is known by all experienced club makers to be the number one most effective way to reduce a slice or reduce a hook in custom fitting for a golfer. So with the adjustable hosel driver, only if you hold the face square, always behind the ball, do you get the loft change. But in doing that, you don't get any option whatsoever for a face angle change if the golfer needs that remedy to help keep the ball in play more. Nothing more is said about lie angle because of the way that the adjustable hosel sleeves work by changing the angle of the shaft inside the head. So lie angle changes do change in the adjustable hosel drivers, but they're locked in to whatever the other position is in the hosel for either rotating the head to square to get the loft change. You can't get loft, lie, and face angle independently set in their specifications from each other with any of the adjustable hosel drivers. That's something that's only possible through multiple toolings of different loft models combined with a bendable hosel. And that's why we went into it. So at this point we now are offering within our custom line the 919 driver any loft from 8 to 16 and a half degrees with any face angle from 4 degrees open to 4 degrees closed and any lie angle from 4 up to 4 flat. Again, all specs independent of each other. But beyond that, we also have the 919 FD mini drivers in 11 and 14 degree tooling. So we can offer lofts from 10 to 15 degrees within the mini driver and again, with its bendable hosel, face angles from four open to four closed, lie angles from four up to four flat, all secured independent of each other. Within our hybrid line, we, we have, or within our fairway wood line, we have the 929 that we have the bendable hosel on. And then coming in 2015, the second generation of the 949 MC also will come out with its bendable hosel. So we'll be able to offer in fairway woods a little more of a semi-shallow game improvement design with the 929, a little bit more of the traditional face height in the 949, again with bendable hosel for a wide range of spec fitting. And then completing that within our hybrid line, the 775 high COR hybrid is made with a bendable hosel as well to do the same thing to be able to allow us to offer changes in lie angle for fitting, changes in face angle for those who need accuracy improvement. And our current investment cast 335 HL hybrid, we purposely investment cast that and heat treat it in a manner so that that hosel is also bendable even though it is an investment cast product. And with that. So add it all up between the drivers, the mini drivers, the fairway wood lines, and the hybrid lines, we can offer the most complete line of custom fit specifications for loft, lie, and face angle, each one of them done independently from each other. Well, how do we do this? Let me show you a little bit about that. Let's say we get an order for a driver, you know, and the request is for all three. They want a custom loft, custom lie angle, and a custom face angle all on the head at the same time. So the first thing we will do is, is go into our inventory for the driver, and we will pick the heads that will have the right loft angle that the, that the consumer wants. All of this is done in our specifications measurement machine. And again, this particular machine is the same exact one that's been used by every golf company and every clubhead manufacturing company since the early 70s when spec measurement was actually invented. So we will find the proper loft angle by setting up the head in the specifications machine. Once that's found, then we'll take the head and go over to our special driver metal wood bending machine to, t to take care of doing the bending to secure the loft, and, or the, excuse me, to secure the face angle and the lie angle spec that the, that the golfer needs with that. Same for the mini driver, the fairway woods, and the hybrids. At Wish on Golf, we use two specially modified bending machines, one separately modified to be able to properly clamp the drivers for bending the hosel, another machine that's been specially modified for being able to properly clamp the fairway woods and hybrids for doing those bends. For 2015, 
we've been working in conjunction with GolfMechanics.com to develop a new single machine that if club makers choose, they can purchase to be able to do their own bending on drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids all in the same machine. But again, you know, we are completely set up to take any orders for the drivers, the fairway woods, and the hybrids and perform any of the bends and the hand selects to be able to deliver the custom loft, lie, and face angle for any custom club fitting needs. The key to bending the driver is the modifications have been made to create a special sole rest that will conform perfectly to the sole radius of the head. With the new machine that will be out in 2015, you will be able to make the custom sole fixtures for each one of the different heads and just slip them in and out from the actual touch point sole rest that comes with the machine. The key feature then for also securing the head in the machine is this cupped custom made back clamp. Very important when you're holding a wood head you know, a hybrid head, driver head, wood head in the, in the vise, that you really get the head secured by being able to clamp in a cupping fixture around the back of the head. So when we do the bends, we'll set the machine to match the loft that we've handpicked from the head. We can slide the head in so the back is in between the custom cup fixture. We use a little pad that we just slide between the cup fixture and the back and then we crank the back shape in and we do this quite firmly with that. Next comes the top down clamp. And this one, we don't crank this down to full tightness because the top of titanium drivers is very thin. And so we just do this quite firmly. Remember, the back one is very firm, the top one is basically firm, but it could have gone a, lot, a little bit tighter. For bending the hosels, we always use a mandrel that we insert down the hosel bore so that when the bend is performed, there's no chance of compressing the hosel to slightly deform it. And the bar of choice that we like is the straight GoffMechanics.com uh, bar because this allows us, when we clamp the bar in place, to keep the bar exactly where we want it to be able to do in the bends. So the bends for the drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids, the bar position in this position if I push down, I'm opening the face angle. If I move the bar to the opposite side in this position and bend down, I'm closing the face angle. In this position, bending downward, we're flattening the lie angle. And in the same position, then pushing up, we're making it more upright. We much prefer to do all the bends pushing downward as much as we can because they're much more easier to control for the precision to deliver that custom lie or face angle exactly how it's needed for the golfer. So the bending bar would be placed on bottom of the jaw, directly on the edge of the paint line at the base of the hosel. Protective mandrel goes into the hosel bore, and then like we're going to open the face angle, we just start to put a little bit of bending force on so we feel the hosel stretch, get to its maximum stretch point, and then a little bit more to make the actual bend. <clears throat> so again, face angle in this plane, lie angle in this plane. And that's how we do the custom bends for the bendable hosel drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids here at Wish on Golf. So when it comes to offering your golfers the best and the most accurate specifications for fitting, our bendable models of drivers, mini drivers, fairway woods, and hybrids can, can, are unsurpassed in the industry for being able to offer the widest range in custom fitting options, all accurately done and delivered to the club makers. Thanks very much for your time. Mm -hmm.